Hello, everybody. The topic one in algebra two, it's linear functions and systems. Keep it in your mind that this year in algebra two course, you are going to use the Texas Instruments graphing calculator. Linear functions and systems are fundamental concepts in mathematics, specifically within algebra. They provide a way to model and solve various real-world problems involving relationships between variables. Linear functions and systems are prevalent in fields such as physics, engineering, economics, and more. They play a crucial role in understanding more complex mathematical concepts and are the building blocks for various higher-level topics in mathematics and science. In this topic, we will practice six lessons, as you can see. Lesson one, key features of functions. Uh, the key features of functions, regardless of whether they are linear or nonlinear, can be summarized as following. Domain and range of a relation. We will learn how to check if the relation is a function using the vertical line test. Uh, use the horizontal line test to check if the function has an inverse. The increase and decrease intervals. Local extrema, global extrema, symmetry and continuity of a function from a given graph. To find the asymptotes, not for all the functions, some of them you'll see there, they are uh, their functions, they have the asymptotes and the intercepts, the x and y intercepts of the function. Lesson 2, transformations of functions. Transformations of functions involve modifying the graph of a function by applying uh, certain operations or changes to its equation. These transformations alter the shape, position, or size of the graph without changing its fundamental, uh, fundamental characteristics. And these are translation, dilation, reflection, the stretch and compress, and there they will be the combination of transformations. These transformations are essential tools for manipulating and analyzing functions in various contexts, such as physics, engineering, economics, and more. By applying these transformations, you can adjust functions to better fit data, model real-world situations, and gain insights into the behavior of mathematical relationships. Lesson 3, piecewise divide functions. Also known as piecewise functions or piecewise equations are mathematical concepts that are defined by different expressions or rules for different parts of their domain. Each part of the domain is associated with a specific expression that determines the function's value in that domain interval. Piecewise functions are often used to model situations where different rules apply to different ranges or of input values. Lesson 4, it's about arithmetic sequences and series that are fundamental concepts in mathematics that deal with a specific type of sequence where each term differs from the previous one by a constant value. They have applications in various fields, including finance, physics, computer science. The next lesson, five, is solving equations and inequalities by graphing. Uh, this involves representing the mathematical expressions on a coordinate plane and finding the points where they intersect or satisfy certain con uh, conditions. This graphical approach provides a visual way to understand and solve equations and inequalities. Graphical solutions are particularly useful for visualizing relationships between variables and understanding the solution's context. However, for more complex equations and inequalities, graphical methods might not be as precise as algebraic methods, especially when dealing with decimals or irrational solutions. Nonetheless, they provide value insights into the behavior of equations and inequalities. Lesson 6, Linear Systems, also known as a system of linear equations, consists of two or more linear equations that are being considered simultaneously. The goal of solving a linear system is to find the values of the variables 
that satisfy all the equations in the system. Linear systems are used to model and solve various real-world problems involving multiple variables and relationships. There exist different methods that we will try them in time uh, to use to solve a linear system of equations. And these methods, they can be graphical method, substitution method, elimination, and the matrix method using the Gaussian elimination or the Cramer's rule. With this said, I wish you all good luck.